And when we get this 14,000 hours out, we're going to be able to see the extent to which the federal agents and assets that were present that day may or may not have increased the level of criminal acuity. We're going to be able to see their coordination with one another. And we're also going to be able to see if there's exculpatory evidence that would show that people never intended to violate a law, even though they might have been technically out of compliance with whatever the standard was at that time based on the vice president's movements that they probably weren't aware of anyway. In an astonishing case, a January 6th defendant just beat the charges against him, even though he breached the U.S. Capitol. Oddly enough, the acquittal came down from a Democrat-appointed judge who made her name holding Donald Trump's feet to the fire back in 2021. You're going to want to hear this judge's reasoning. Welcome to TYT's Overruled. I'm your legal analyst, Adrian Lawrence. U.S. District Court Judge Amy Berman Jackson acquitted January 6th defendant Joshua Black of obstruction of Congress's joint session. Black had faced several charges, but obstruction was the most serious felony that he was facing, and it carried a maximum of 20 years in prison. Now, there was no question that Black had broken into the U.S. Capitol. This per the Alabama local news. Black had stated that he was led to the Capitol by Jesus, and if called to go again, he would, according to federal court documents. After being shot in the face and spitting out a substantial amount of blood, he says his mouth filled with blood six to seven times, and after another person at the Capitol dug out some portion of the projectile from his cheek, the defendant continued on to the Senate floor, as pictured here. And that's where he, quote, bled the blood of Jesus, he said. He also happened to be carrying a knife, which he admitted was for self-defense. And after the riot, well, he did a breakdown video on YouTube, and he posted two of these videos. Well, Amy Berman Jackson was trying to decide whether the 46-year-old knew he wasn't supposed to be there in terms of whether he intended to go break up Congress in some way. Now, in weighing the evidence, after a week-long bench trial, Berman Jackson ruled that Black had a unique stew in his mind that left her uncertain whether he was aware that his actions were unlawful. Black is the first January 6th defendant who reached the Senate floor to be acquitted of the obstruction charge. Indeed, to secure conviction for obstruction of Congress, federal prosecutors had to prove that Black had corrupt intent to block Congress to get in the way, even though he was there. And this could have been done through Black's testimony, uh, text messages, emails, or other circumstantial evidence. But per Judge Berman Jackson, the evidence simply was not there. Black was seen in images from the Senate chamber bleeding from his cheek, the result of being shot with a police projectile before he breached the building. Jackson emphasized that Black had both religious and political reasons for his presence in Washington on January 6th, a mixed motive that she said was rooted in both his claim to have the Lord's imprimatur and his steady diet of social media disinformation on about the election results. Now, Berman Jackson is a very thoughtful judge and she's not afraid to enforce the law. If you recall, she was the one who was taking down Trump's allies, sharply criticizing Trump's crony, Paul Manafort and Roger Stone, calling out former Attorney General Bill Barr and so on. And that should tell you that she likely applied the law here and in Black's case, while well, the government simply failed to provide facts to support the obstruction charge. There was tons of evidence, mind you from pics of the man on the floor to YouTube videos he posted. But Black's likely wasn't necessarily working with a full deck of cards here. You know, it wasn't clear that his intent was to interfere with Congress. And of course, getting an insanity charge would have been nearly impossible, so his attorney probably went in this direction of having a bench trial without a jury so that the judge would have to decide the matter. And based on the ruling from Judge Berman Jackson, it's clear that she definitely noticed that Black was probably not all there in the head. And that doesn't mean that she gave him a pass, though. Berman Jackson did find him guilty on five other charges that he faced, one carrying up at least two 10 years in prison. Now, Black will be sentenced in late February, early March, and this case was likely somewhat of an anomaly, as most of those who rushed the Capitol were aware that Congress was in session that day, and they rushed it because they were trying to stop BP Pence from certifying the electoral count. But even so, Moving forward, prosecutors are going to want to ensure that they do their due diligence in terms of having evidence to support every element of the charge against the January 6th defendants that they are bringing charges against. Because we don't want to waste taxpayers' time and money, and we also don't want rulings like this getting out to make people think that the charges against the January 6th defendants were bunk in some way. When really, in cases like this, 
you just had a person who necessarily didn't have a full deck of cards. So that happens. But then again, those are just my thoughts. You let me know yours in the comments below. Hit that like and follow button. And thanks for watching.